Have you ever questioned why some individuals seem to have such easy access to what they want? You might be shocked to hear that for many people, the language they use in their affirmations or prayers is an expression of confusion and calm. The cosmos is permanently rooted in the present and is incapable of comprehending the idea of a future. That means that when you say something like, today will be a fantastic day, you're essentially delaying your happiness forever. When the universe hears this, it assumes you're wishing for a wonderful day in some far off future that never truly comes. Rather than dwelling on your current circumstances, why not remind yourself, today is a fantastic day, even when they are not ideal? Speaking positively about the present causes your vibrations to match with what you really want. In this video, we will explain how to talk to the universe and how you can manifest anything you desire. I suggest that you watch the video more than once, preferably every morning, since the teachings I am about to provide to you can be used on a daily basis. Dolores Cannon, a renowned author and hypnotherapist specializing in past life regression, consciousness exploration and metaphysics, discussed manifestation in several of her works. While her primary focus was on exploring the depths of human consciousness and understanding the nature of reality, she also touched upon the principles of manifestation. She emphasized the power of the mind and its ability to shape reality through thoughts, beliefs, and intentions. According to her teachings, individuals have the capacity to manifest their desires by aligning their thoughts and emotions with their intentions. She believed that the key to successful manifestation lies in accessing the subconscious mind, where deep-seated beliefs and programming reside, and reprogramming it to support one's desires. Furthermore, Cannon often spoke about the importance of clarity, focus, and belief in the manifestation process. She stressed the significance of visualizing and feeling as if the desired outcome has already been achieved thereby creating a vibrational match between the individual and their desired reality. Her perspective on manifestation aligns with the idea that individuals have the innate ability to influence their circumstances through the power of their consciousness and intentionality. If you want to know how to do this, keep watching as we go over seven lifelong manifestation teachings. The Power of Language be careful with the words you use since they have an impact on your world. It's like a sacred conversation between the universe and you. It's crucial to stay rooted in the present tense. Your thoughts and feelings are like prayers that you send out to the universe on a daily basis. The universe will listen to you when you broadcast at the correct frequency and in the proper tenses. Are you the type of person who constantly checks to see whether their desires have been granted just to become angry when they haven't? You are not alone. Another obstacle we encounter when attempting to realize our desires is impatience. Everyone has experienced the need to ask for something and then compulsively check to see whether it has been granted. When it doesn't appear right away, uncertainty and frustration creep in. Recognize this. The cosmos has perfect timing all on its own. It's about divine synchronicity, not about us deciding when something should show up in our lives. Why, however? Do some of your affirmations seem to be ignored by the cosmic universe? Frequently, this is the result of you asking in the future tense while also taking a back seat and waiting for your desire to come true. That is not the way God or the cosmos work. You need to realize that every desire you have is already manifested in the quantum realm and is only waiting for you to align your frequency with it. Our universe is a world of resonance, like attracts like. Your request will have a hard time materializing and becoming a reality if your vibrational frequency is weakened by uncertainty or impatience. You have to hold tight to your belief that it is already yours. You must have faith in God's timing and trust that what is rightfully yours will come to pass. The Essence of Spiritual Alignment Spiritual alignment is another thing that is often overlooked. You see, even if you create vision boards with infinite images of your ideal life or recite affirmations, your dreams might never come true if you're not spiritually linked to them. Spiritual alignment might be compared to selecting your preferred radio station on a radio. When the radio was tuned to the incorrect frequency, have you ever attempted to listen to a broadcast? I mean, it's simply noise and static. This is also how spiritual alignment works. In order to achieve alignment, 
You frequently need to release lower vibrating energies that clog your spiritual channel, such as fear, uncertainty, and envy. You can only truly connect with the cosmos when you're vibrating at a higher frequency. At that point, that is when the magic happens, turning those vision boards and affirmations from wishful thinking into powerful tools. Manifestation as a partnership. After making a vision board and saying your daily affirmations, what comes next? Well, dear souls, keep in mind that manifestation is a divine dance rather than a one-way street. When was the last time you danced solo and referred to it as a partnership? Some people believe it's similar to placing an order from a cosmic catalog and expecting their wishes to be fulfilled at their door without any further involvement from them. This given example is a source of miscommunication. You see, the universe is not a vending machine. It is more like a partner in a dance. It expects reciprocity, which you can see as a give and take of different energies. When you make a request, the world could respond by sending you a fortuitous encounter, an opportunity, or even a difficult circumstance to try your limits and get you ready for what you want. The dance continues because of your choices, actions, and yes, persistent attention and positive affirmations. The cosmos desires enduring relationships based on respect and energy exchange. It is not interested in one-hit wonders. Guided by wisdom. Fine-tuning this spiritual alignment and continuous dance may seem like an overwhelming endeavor. But remember that we have many instructors and guides, both in the physical and non-physical worlds, who are constantly there to support us. Indeed, on this voyage, we are never by ourselves. A wide range of knowledge and insight may be gained from our spirit guides, angels, and even prior life experiences. We receive subtle help from these loving energies in the form of synchronicities and coincidences that act as road markers for us. Remember that each step you take is more than just a forward movement. It is a declaration of purpose that you are willing to develop, evolve, and embrace the limitless possibilities of your existence. When accepting these realities, keep in mind that there are times when a non-linear path leads to spiritual alignment and manifestation. Even the most committed seeker may become confused by the curves, twists, and detours. Challenges aren't always difficulties. Sometimes they're just wake-up calls to pause, reflect, and even adjust our behavior. Consider them unique detours that teach us something valuable and improve our ability to design the life we desire instead of viewing them as mistakes. Your difficult experiences are actually hidden lessons rather than punishments. Meditation and Prayer Technique Allow me to offer a prayer and meditation method that has improved my spiritual alignment and provided me with comfort. First, choose a place to sit comfortably where noise won't disturb you. With your eyes closed and shoulders relaxed, inhale and exhale three deep breaths, allowing your belly to rise and fall with each breath. Imagine that any stress in your body or mind just melts away with each breath. You might be wondering what the importance of these deep breaths is. Consider them to be the keys that open your spiritual portals. When your mind and body are at ease, start visualizing your desires as though they have already arrived in your life. Imagine yourself living the life you have always wanted, one filled with love, prosperity, good health, and all the other benefits life has to offer. Feel the gratitude, contentment, and excitement that fill your entire being. As you continue to work with this visualization, begin to add encouraging statements. Constantly tell yourself, I am deserving. I am open to all the good and abundance the universe has to offer. Today is a magnificent day, and all is well in my world. Your level of alignment with your genuine desires increases with the vividness of your affirmations. The Power of Gratitude Lastly, we will end our meditation with a prayer. Whisper quietly to yourself or in your thoughts. Thank you, universe, for bringing this or something better into my life. When you send this prayer out into the universe, feel your words transform into energy, a bright frequency. Gently open your eyes and hold in your heart the calm certainty that you have had a sacred conversation with the cosmos. Recognize that this is an ongoing conversation rather than a one-time exercise, and that you can always return to it when you need spiritual support. Imagine that the life you are leading at this very exact moment is a profoundly simple secret that sages have understood for ages. It feels like you're giving the entire universe a hug when you give your full attention to the present moment. 
remember to say thank you. Being appreciative is like having a specific tool that syncs your spirit with the universe's rhythm. Real gratitude makes you feel as though you're yelling to the skies. I'm ready for good stuff and I'm ready to share it too. Every time you say thank you, it's like a magic word that reverberates eternally and returns to you in the form of opportunities for happiness and wonderful things. Understanding the interconnectedness. You see the stars, the earth, the sky, the trees, and you are all composed of the same materials. We are all interconnected, like a large family. Just keep in mind that everything and everyone around you is impacted by what you do. You contribute to shaping the world, not simply seeing it pass by. Consider your words while speaking with others, just as you would a delicate flower. You have the power to make someone feel better or worse with your words. Similar to matches, words have the power to ignite a love fire or extinguish a friendship. Therefore, speak as though you were sowing seeds in a garden. Speak in a kind and respectful manner. If you do this, you will undoubtedly get wonderful results. Remember that your thoughts, words, and feelings are like a conversation with the universe. When you are positive and clear about what you desire, the universe undoubtedly listens. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time if you are still with me. And if you would like, please think about subscribing to our channel. You may then receive updates on new videos that will provide you with additional knowledge, manifestations, philosophy, and personal development ideas. And never forget that we are always here for you and wish you the best possible life filled with success and happiness. I hope you have an amazing day. If you have watched until the end, please respond with MMM, Master Motivational Mindset, so we can connect.